This week's plugin of the week is a plugin designed to help you create copies of groups and components along a path. This week's plugin of the week is called Path Copy. So SketchUp comes built in with the functionality to create multiple copies, both in straight lines with the Move tool and around circles using the Rotate tool. However, it doesn't have any tools that help you create copies along paths that both curve and go straight. This tool allows you to do that. Plugin name, Path Copy. Plugin developer, Smustard Team. How much does it cost? It's free. You can also download a pro version that allows path reversal, rotation of objects, and unique copies for $5 from the Smustard website. Where do you get it? You can get it in the extension warehouse or from Smustard's website. This is a very simple tool designed to do one thing. Take a group or component and copy it along a path. This means you can basically take any object you want and dictate spacing to create a certain number of copies along a line. This tool operates well in conjunction with Smustard's Weld tool, which allows you to take multiple lines and combine them into a single line to create a path. The free version is limited in that you can't dictate rotation of the various objects, but overall, as long as you're just copying along a flat path, the free version works just fine. Ratings. Usefulness and functionality, three and a half out of five. The free version of this plugin does one thing, copy objects along a path, and it does it well. However, if you're looking for a lot of options, it doesn't give you many of those. There are, op there are other options available in the pro version. Value, four out of five. The base version is free, but you can tell some functions were held back for the pro version, which by the way is fine. Ease of use and documentation, four out of five. This plugin gives adequate instructions it took me a minute to get used to the interface, but once I did, it worked fine. It took me a moment to realize I could dictate spacing the same way you can with the Move tool or the Rotate tool, by simply typing in a length while that tool is active. Overall score, 11.5 out of 15. This is kind of a tool that you download when you're looking to create something specific, like curving balcony rails. However, it's very useful in that regard. If you need more functions, you'll have to pay for the pro version, but honestly, $5 is not a lot of money to get a tool that helps you do what you need to do. I definitely recommend this plugin, but it's probably going to have to be in conjunction with a tool like Weld. So that's where we're going to wrap up this plugin overview. If you like this video, remember to click that like button down below. Um, if you're new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button for new SketchUp videos every week. And as always, leave a comment below. Let me know if you're using this tool or something similar and how you're using it and how you like it. So thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.